the Squeaky the Squirrel Show. It takes place at Camp Uda way up in the woods of northern Maine. That's like 1,000 miles away from Ohio. My name is Squeaky. I'm a red squirrel. It's wicked cool being a squirrel. We can climb trees, jump really, really far, run super fast, and I have lots of awesome friends. Let's see. There's Amanda, Peyton, Owen, and of course Amelia. Everett and Olivia come by to play sometimes too. We're all red squirrels. Okay, let's start the show with an awesome story. It's kind of scary though. But everything turns out just fine in the end though. Hopefully. Around a month ago, a really, really scary fox named Rupert moved into our woods. He was very pretty with his fluffy red fur and big, beautiful bushy tail with a white tip on the end of it. But he was mean. Do you know what foxes eat? It's almost too frightening to even say. They eat squirrels. Yep. And birds, and rabbits, and mice. They even chase fisher cats away. Fisher cats are really mean too, they even eat porcupines. Can you imagine how tough you'd have to be to eat a porcupine? Watch this. A fisher cat was eating some frozen blueberries in the snow, and Rupert the fox comes along and chases him away. Then Rupert comes back to make sure no one else is there before he steals the blueberries. So, on with the story. It snowed one day and we didn't have to go to school. We were so excited. Amanda made a yummy breakfast with peanuts and pine cones, Awen melted some snow and made tea for us, Amelia and Peyton watched out for foxes and stuff. After breakfast we brushed our teeth with our little toothbrushes made out of pine needles, and Grandma said we could go out and play in the snow. Yay! It was awesome. We made snow people, kinda like a snowman, but squirrels make them look like people. And we had the bestest snowball fight ever. And then it happened. <laughs> Rupert the fox hadn't had his breakfast yet, and he was out hunting. Do you remember what he likes to eat? Squirrels. Foxes eat squirrels. We were all playing in the woods underneath the tree our nest is in. We were having so much fun. The snow is wonderful. But Rupert was out hunting, and he can smell a squirrel from really, really far away. He was walking through the woods and all of a sudden, he smelled us and turned and ran into the woods after us. Boy, were we scared. Luckily, Amanda saw him and yelled for us to hurry, hurry, hurry. Climb up the tree. And we all climbed up the tree. Just in time, too because Rupert was at the bottom of the tree growling and snarling at us. But red foxes can't climb trees, so there was no way he could get us now. We were safe. Amelia and Arwen were the bravest and started throwing snowballs at Rupert. It was so funny. One hit him right on the nose and he ran away from the tree. Peyton yelled, and we all stopped what we were doing. Something was going on under the trees. It was really loud. Rupert is eating a bird. Oh no, the poor bird. We looked over the edge of our nest and Rupert was chewing on a drumstick and there were feathers everywhere. Grandma said that even foxes have to eat. It's just good that he didn't have a squirrel for breakfast. It was such a long day. It was dangerous, exciting, and lots of fun, even the scary parts. 
We are safe in our nest now. We have a really nice fire going in our little fireplace, and it's time for a nap. I hope you liked our story. It's pretty cool being a red squirrel. Have a fun day, and we'll tell you another story some other day.